There's still a lot of frustration after the state court system introduced a $100 million overhaul of its software. Yeah, e-courts first launched in Wake, Lee, Johnston, and Harnett counties, but people have been complaining about it since day one. Russ Bowen, you were the first to report on this, and you've been reporting on it since February. Sounds like you got an earful mm. today. Yeah, we picked a random day, and both on camera and off camera, there have been some improvements, but attorneys say there are still too many errors, some of which we witnessed ourselves today. On any given day at the Wake County Courthouse, you might find a long line like this or a sign like this that says the computer system is down or maybe a shorter line, but long enough, you may be inclined to bring in a chair. It slowed down what we do by, I couldn't give you a percentage, but it's drastic. I mean, I've spent a big portion of my day standing in line. Seven months after the court computer system switch over to eCourts, we are hearing many of the same issues, like people being notified the wrong court date. That's what happened to Gloria Freeman, who took off work to be here. So everybody get mixed up, you know, especially with computers and stuff. So, I mean, you know, I came down here for nothing, you know. Criminal defense attorney James Jackson says he's had trouble accessing case files, records have been arbitrarily changed, and the wrong calculations for court fees and fines have been posted. We have made every effort to try to make it work and try to help it along. And what we found is, is that, and I've got my office staff crying when they're leaving the office in the afternoons by the frustrations of a system that just doesn't work. Wake County is the most populated county in the state and is one of four counties chosen to pilot the software before the $100 million e-court system launches statewide. If we're a pilot county and the system doesn't work, I mean, what are we doing? We're, we're, we're flying the plane to destruction. Um, and headstrong toward a system that just doesn't work. Criminal defense attorney Trey Fitzhugh was one of the first lawyers to come to CBS 17 expressing his worry and frustration. This many months later, he's far from satisfied. I think people have gotten more proficient with the system, but you can't fix this but so much. It's still extremely slow. Um, it is still extremely prone to errors, whether they are software based or whether they are as a result of human error. There are so many more opportunities for there to be errors that it's a disaster every day of the week. The real dilemma is that the court personnel cannot hit the buttons fast enough, click the clicks fast enough, move from screen to screen fast enough to, to keep a line moving. Now we've become a slave to the system is what's happened. We're a slave to this computer program that wasn't built for this sort of environment and, it's, and it just doesn't meet the bill. And I did reach out to the administrative office of the courts, which oversees the transition and speaks for software developer Tyler Technologies. They said in part system wide speed and stability have improved throughout the pilot phase and they continue to improve performance for court filings and records. We'll have that full statement for you at CBS17.com. And in all fairness, guys, you know, I've spent a lot of time in Johnston County as well. They're having a much, much better time with this at this point than Wake That's County is. That's part good. of that is volume. Um, but, you know, I, I want to be fair with this, and you can see those stories from Johnston County as well where they've done better. Well, right, Russ, thank you. And they you keep bet. coming to you, Russ. It's not yeah, like you're, you, they're I mean, coming to you for answers. So. You can see exactly. it on my phone. Yeah. Yep. All, right. All right. Russ, thanks. Russ you has bet. been reporting on the problems with the rollout of the eCourts platform since February. You can watch all of those reports on our website, cbs17.com. Just hover over the news tab and select NC Courts Overhaul.